Uh, hello, uh, my name is Mario. I used to be a Manila Bay surfer but now living here in Baler. And these are three of my favorite boards. First board is this one. It's a MR imitation copy. <laughs> Copied by, made by Robbie Hender from Bali. I got this from Miki Eduardo La Union. I'm only starting to learn how to use it. But as of the moment, I'm kind of comfortable using it. Mostly, siguro why I choose this is because of the volume. Especially, I use a lot of long board and short board. You know, I'm beginning to explore also other uh, shapes and dimensions. But this one for me is my go-to when I go to like say a spot like Cemento. Bigger waves. <laughs> this is original MR with a trailer. It's working so fine. I haven't tried using it without a trailer. I intend to keep using it like this. Okay, so actually this is my favorite board. Ang funny, it's not even mine. <laughs> this is uh, Tony's board. And I've been using it quite a lot. But uh, this is the first board shaped by Byron, uh, 13 bomb, but uh, ass still assisted by uh, Kalua from Hawaii. Uh, it's I think it's 9-2. It's already won the Manila category of uh, Basin Challenge last year. So this board is has a lot of of competition history. I think na lahat ng ng place na nakuha na nito. Naka first na, naka champion na, naka second na, naka third na. So nalaglag na rin. <laughs> <laughs> hindi na rin meron ding hindi pinalad na magpunta sa finals. But I really like this. Galing. I really like this cause the weight while surfing it is so light. Medyo magaan siya, hindi siya as heavy as traditional nose rider you know it's super sturdy double stringer and dami ng medyo masamang bagsak nito pero boy pa din so i think it's it's about 5 years old na. so roi na roi na to so this one shaped by byron ro filipino made so very proud of that too hindi ko masabi kung most favorite eh but really uh, my favorite because guapo eh <laughs> At, found it online when we researched it, medyo mahal. At nakuha ko ng mesmura. My business partner, Tiara, took her time to pick it up sa area ng Subic na medyo sketchy. So, binabato from the mountains. I was, I was sa mga shanty-like area. Ito, hindi ko alam kung bogus, pero Sabi niya, yung kapatid niya raw is one of the Lords of Dogtown star. So, I forgot kung sino mismo yun, but isa yun sa mga buy-in. Medyo sketchy yung itsura niya dahil feeling, <laughs> feeling ko junky. <laughs> but opportunity knocks. Kaya, nasa akin na to. <laughs> so, this is a uh, Tyler 777. Uh, it's, it's heavy, like a typical nose rider, old school. As you can see, um, yung pins niya, ano, glass on, fixed. When I bought this, wala siyang leash plug. Pinagawa ko ng leash plug kay Kalua. Tapos, well, simply because ang guwapo eh. Ang guwapo na itong board na ito yun. Super rare to see a Tyler 777 nowadays. That's why I, I like this. Tyler, uh, kasi yung mga design niya and retros too. He's a really good surfer, not just a, a shaper. So, I think, isa sa mga consideration ko, when the shaper also can serve the boards that he shapes. These are three of my favorite boards, my go-to boards, but all in all, my quiver consists of maybe around 10. All of these boards and many other boards, you can find it here at Balay by Dogtown. Some we have it rented out sa mga marunong na. Especially like we have a board coming, uh, made by Toots, also a Hawaiian shaper. So you can also find that in Dogtown. And uh, you know, we are in the business of promoting this surf lifestyle and 
uh, sharing this talk. We are happily inviting you to you know take part of the experience that, that we offer or we share. So come on, go to the to Balay Bagtapay Dog Count. Got it.